And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Ineosaurus, whose name means buffalo wizard. And that name is a combination of the Blackfeet word Aini, which means buffalo, and ancient Greek saurus. It was a centrosaurine ceratopsian that lived in the Cretaceous in what is now Montana, and it was named in 1995 by Scott Sampson. The type species is Aineosaurus procurvicornis, and the species name means with a forward curving horn. It was found in two bone beds, at least 15 individuals of different ages with three adult skulls and hundreds of other bones. Jack Horner found the bone beds in 1985, and they were excavated between 85 and 89 by field crews from the Museum of the Rockies. The bone beds may be a result of a bunch of Ineosaurus around a water hole that was decreasing in size during a dry season, so they may have died from drought, or it's possible that they drowned while trying to cross a river. <laughs> it's funny that those are two likely things, and they're exact opposites in every way. Just shows how much we know. <laughs> yeah. So originally the bone beds were thought to have a new species of Styracosaurus, and the name Styracosaurus macaulay was published in 1990, but with no description, so it's an invalid nomen nudum. Jack Horner found three species in the bone beds and referred to them as type A, B, and C, and then Scott Sampson described type B in 1995 and named that one Ineosaurus. It may have been a herding animal. This is based on being found in bone beds. It was an herbivore, about 14.8 feet or 4.7 meters long and weighing 1.3 tons. It had a narrow pointed snout with a downward curving nasal horn that looks like a bottle opener, though that may only be in some adults. Somebody needs to make a bottle opener out of this. That would be great. <laughs> Their horns grew larger with age. In 2010, Julie Reisner studied individuals found at the Dino Ridge site and found Ineosaurus rapidly grew until it was three to five years old, and then it grew much more slowly, probably when it became sexually mature. The nasal horn was covered in a sheath, and it had large, rounded scales over its eyes based on a 2009 reconstruction of the skin and horn on ceratopsids by Tobin Hieronymus and colleagues. It had a pair of large spikes that projected backwards from its small frill, and the horns over the eyes were low and short. It had a short frill on its neck compared to chasmosaurine ceratopsians like Chasmosaurus, and it had smaller horns in the outside edges of the neck frill. It was probably used for display, though it may have helped protect it against tyrannosaurids like Gorgosaurus and Displetosaurus. It had a sharp beak that could shear through plants, and it had a battery of teeth to help eat tough plant material. And all known Ineosaurus fossils are currently at the Museum of the Rockies in Bozeman, Montana. So, again, it was a ceratopsian, and ceratopsians were ornithischians. They lived in North America and Asia, and they had beaks and cheek teeth to eat fibrous vegetation. And they also had a frill that may have been used for defense, regulating body temperature, attracting mates, or signaling danger. And they probably traveled in herds and could then stampede if threatened. 